Hello and welcome back fellows. I hope all of you are doing well. Yet another interesting uh, charts tip today I'm going to share with you. So without any further ado, I'm going to reveal my topic of the day that is multi-line communication or display and showcase of your numbers in the charts. So how you can do that? Let me go quickly to the screen here. On the screen you see multiple countries with multiple fruits and, and, and their million dollar values. Now you want to demonstrate both countries and the fruits as well with the values on the top. So the first thing you have to do is, first of all, merge these country names so that you have one uh, selection. So I will go to the home and then there is merge and select uh, this one. You will see it will merge the country into one appearing for these three lines. Similarly, you have to repeat it for the next one and then it will be the same. You can use... Um, your F4 key to merge as well, which means it will repeat the activity that you did. And there we go. All of them are merged into one. Now, to showcase this and to scale it out, you have to select the data, go to insert, and in insert form, you have recommended charts. So let's say it has selected mm, filled maps for me, but I don't need it because it's also recommended to have this one. However, there are multiple cluster chart, etc., etc., stake bar, title chart. I will pick any one of them. It is here, but it's not really serving the purpose. So I will go back to the design and I will select the uh, change uh, layout. So um, simply, I will go to change the type. This is not making sense. Then I'll go to the lines. Here you can see it is making sense, but I need a simple one without any text on it. So I will simply select OK here. Now you can see all of the countries with their scorings. I don't want to see uh, these numbers here, so I can remove them myself directly. And then it's a very beautiful chart here. I can remove the chart title as well to give me my more space. Now you can see it's very beautifully showing you for each country different scores or different values and their comparisons as well. So uh, you would like to see what are these legends. So simply uh, you have to select here and you can see there are multiple legends appearing here uh, with the values. So uh, you can click on the add button and there you can add, for example, data labels. You don't want to show them access. You don't want to show them guidelines. You don't want to show them. So finally, what is left is the legends. So we pull them here and then it's a very beautiful legend view as well. However, it's not making sense if we have this legend and it doesn't have the countries down there. So I've selected one of the styles here, which makes more sense to me. It is showing the numbers and then the, the, the fruits as well. I can shape it up like this. Now it is a bit better view for your audience. And you can simply, again, uh, go and select and remove anything you would like. For example, if you don't want to have these labels on the data, you simply take it out. No need to have these labels. Now you're getting the fruits and their associated values as well. Um, yeah, I would always recommend to keep legends if you want to have bars, no need them. Uh, data labels, if you want to get more detail of the data available in this um, uh, as well. But I will keep it simple as it is and showcase it on my PowerPoint slides. I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and it was interesting for you. Do try it with your data and share your feedback in the feedback section. Till the time we speak again, take care and stay safe. Bye-bye. If you still didn't subscribe my channel, please do it. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regularly notifications from my new videos.